Hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on yet another, yet another empties video. I think this will be part six. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back, you guys. Yes, yet another empties video. Um, this is spring empties part six. I've been moving through a lot of candles, wax, soaps, things like that this season. I think a lot of us have actually. So I want to hop on here and do yet another empties video for you guys. Um, what I will do again, don't know if you guys have noticed that I've started doing this, but the last month, month and a half or so, I've actually started putting uh, in my description timestamps, especially when I'm doing empties videos. So those of you who are here for exclusively candles, Check the description of the video. I will have it time stamped. I actually have quite a bit of product to kind of go over today. So we're going to move through it fairly quickly. Um, we're going to talk about soaps, wax, and then candles at the tail end of the video. So if you guys are here exclusively for candles, not going to fault you on that, but just check the description of the video. So again, I hope you guys are doing well, but we do have a little bit of stuff to work through. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, you guys, and as always, we're going to kick it off with soaps. I feel like I always start with soaps. I don't have too, too many to show you guys. I feel like I was moving through soaps a little more quickly earlier in the season, but I only have a few to show you right now. I have two Fiji White Sands, really pretty scent. I am not a summer scent kind of gal. Um, I really like fall scents. I like winter and I like like bakery type scents, um, but this is one of the only, I guess, summer type scents. I know it comes out during the spring, but one of the summer type scents that I do enjoy, it's more of like a warm toned amber, what is it? White Sands Vanilla Orchid in Amber. Just a really pretty fragrance. So I have two of these. Um, I can see why I don't typically use this in the spring because to me it very much is a summer scent. I tried to pair it and have it going um, paired with like my lavender scent, some of my perfumey florals, and it just kind of clashed a little bit. Not that you're burning or melting soaps, but the scent itself just didn't really, it just didn't mesh with any of the other scents I had going. So don't think I would buy this one again, at least this season, but if you're looking for a really pretty scent for the summertime and you don't like all the, the coconutty and the suntan and those types of scents, this one is really, really pretty. It's actually kind of strong, even though it's a little bit of a lighter scent itself. The scent itself does tend to last on your hands after you wash your hands. The only other one I have is the Stay Positive, and this is actually Iced Vanilla Cookie. I didn't realize when I originally bought it that it had lemon in the notes, which it's very pretty, very, very yummy. The one thing I do wish was that it was a little bit stronger. Um, on cold, it, it smells like a sugar cookie with like lemon glaze. It's like a, a cookie with a little bit of lemon icing. The notes are lemon, sugar crystals, and vanilla shortbread. The one thing about this one, um, you could use this in the spring, summer, anytime really. Like I said, after you washed your hands, you just really don't notice it. It's not a lingering scent at all. It's actually, in my opinion, quite light. I do like the packaging. I think it's a cute, darling little, um, you know, novelty type packaging. I use soap sleeves on mine anyway, so the packaging doesn't matter too, too much. But I do think it'd be cute for like a kid's room or anything like that. Um, and the scent itself was just a little too light for me probably not a repurchase. That's it on soaps though, you guys. The next thing we're gonna move on to is wax and a couple candle related items. Yes. On to wax and wax related items. Those of you who are here for vendor wax, um, like indie vendor wax, I have not moved through enough of that product to actually have it in an empties video. As I've said before, I'll keep doing Instagram follow-ups on any of the vendor wax. Leave a comment down below, those of you who um, do watch some of my videos regarding vendor wax. If you want me to do like a dedicated empties video just for vendor wax, leave it in the comments down below. I'm trying to get your feedback. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing the Instagram follow-ups. But I do have a few wax-related items in here. Now, this one is EBM Creations. I would, I would consider them a vendor wax item, um, not really indie type vendor wax. The one thing I like about EBM Creations, as I'm finding with Vendor Wax, is these are available all the time. You can get them on Amazon or you can get them at their website, ebmcreations.com. They have a lot of dupes and a lot of like um, 
fruity, cereal-y type fragrances. And for the most part, they're pretty strong. Um, I really enjoyed their dupe of Baja Cactus Blossom. I love their labeling as well. And they're reasonably priced too. This, to the untrained nose, is almost identical to uh, Bath and Body Works version. I would buy Baja Cactus Blossom again. The throw on that one is probably like a solid seven and a half. The thing with EBM Creations, they're kind of strong off the bat and then they do dissipate after like five to eight hours depending on the scent. But um, I do like that they have a lot of dupes. Now I did also pick up a Very Vanilla. I was on the fence with this one. I'm a vanilla lover, um, but this one was just not doing it for me. It's like they kind of started to do like a bakery vanilla and then it kind of morphed into like a body care vanilla. It almost comes across a little sour. Um, I got this to do like scent layering. The, the throw on this one was also not the best. If you're looking for a vanilla scent, I would probably say skip this one. To me, it just was a little different and I couldn't quite layer it with the scents I wanted to. Now, the one that was actually my favorite was the lavender sandalwood. This one was super duper strong. It just smells like a spa. It smells almost, they're not saying lavender sandalwood dupe. So I, I don't know if it's trying to be like the Bath and Body Works version, but it's, it's almost, almost identical. If you like Bath and Body Works lavender sandalwood, I would definitely check this one out. The other thing about EBM Creations, if you guys are interested in trying them, like I said, they're available all the time. I do have a coupon code out for EBM Creations. You do have to go to their website. You can't order them via Amazon, but if you go to ebmcreations.com, if you type in life with L, you will get 10% off. So if you guys are interested in trying them, check them out. They have a ton of different fragrances. I have one more wax related item on here for you guys. You haven't seen this, this company in a while from me. Goose Creek Blueberry Cake Donut. This was actually left over from last season um, just because I, I wasn't able to work through all of it. And I forgot how much I liked the scent of this one. It really, I really enjoy Goose Creek Wax. Um, I haven't been using them as much now just because I'm trying other companies. I usually would go to Goose Creek for a lot of my wax melting. Typically, they're really strong and they're priced right if you catch them on a sale. This one, I liked the scent. It smelled like just a blueberry donut with like a, a thin icing or like a thin glaze. The one thing I also now, after melting this one, remember is this one was not that strong. And I was really kind of surprised. Typically Goose Creek Wax, at least to me, it's super strong um, right off the bat. And then again, it does dissipate quickly. But this one was not that strong. I'd say it was like a, a five five and a half, maybe six in a smaller room. So liked the scent, but I don't think I'll be getting this one again. And that may have been why I didn't use the rest of it. And that is it for wax items, but I do have two wallflowers to show you guys. You probably already saw me post on Instagram about this, so I won't go over it too, too long, but I do have strawberry pound cake and vanilla bean. I have a bunch of these throughout my house. If you are fans of the strawberry pound cake candle, just go ahead and get the wallflower. I think you'll enjoy it. It's strong, um, it's on par with the candle, smells exactly the same. Um, it's one of those scents where it's super strong the first week and a half, two weeks, then it does dissipate. But those two weeks that you're getting out of this, um, really good, strong too. Was very impressed with that. I will definitely get more of the strawberry pound cake wallflowers. The next one I was really happy that I tried again was vanilla bean. I forgot how much I enjoy this scent. It's not the same as warm vanilla sugar. This one has so much more depth, um, more strength. It's not a strong scent by any means, but it is stronger than warm vanilla sugar. What are the notes of this one? Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow and milk. So I think it's that marshmallow note that gets me. It's really, really pretty. This is a great scent layering fragrance. I wish Bath and Body Works would come out with a vanilla bean hand soap. As of right now, all they have is warm vanilla sugar and that's very, very light. But um, I will definitely be getting more vanilla bean as we get further and further in the season. The only thing I'm waiting for now is those blueberry pie wallflowers. I hope Bath & Body Works comes out with those again this season or at least berry waffle cone. 
keep our fingers crossed, maybe after semi-annual um, sale or maybe during semi-annual sale, they'll come out with those. If you guys have heard any info, comment down below. I'm curious to see if they're bringing those back this season. And you guys, that is it on my wax items. The one thing I did just wanna throw in here, this is actually an empty box from a 100 pack of tea lights from Target. Since Yankee Candle is closed, I have been burning my tea lights from Target. These are smooth wax. They're not a hard paraffin wax like the Yankee Candle tea lights. And I just wanted to throw this in the video. I did not realize what a huge difference the Yankee Candle tea lights are compared to the Target version or any smooth wax tea light. I am looking for a really good tea light that burns for more than like three or four hours. Um, obviously, a lot of Yankee stores are closed. Yes, I could order online, but if you guys have any good suggestions, leave them in the comments below because I am switching these out like crazy. I've already moved through a hundred of them in a month. That shows you how much I use my tea light warmer. But you guys, that's it on wax and wax related items. Up next, we're going to dive into candles. You guys, moving on to candles, it's only right if I kick things off with this beautiful gem of a candle. This is the Homeworks Blackberry Tres Leches. This was a four wick candle. Look at how beautiful this is. Gorgeous hobnail. I did already clean it out. I am gonna repurpose the jar. Let me show you the lid. I mean, these are just massive candles. Really happy to have tried this one. Like I said, it was a Mercari purchase. They did originally come with a pair with a mate. I think it was a sugared brioche or something to that effect. The one thing I wish, and like I said, I do have a full on review of this one if you're interested. I wish Homeworks would have their candles available a little more accessible, um, a little more variety, and that they would sell them singly. Yes, I know at Ulta.com you can buy them individually, but they offer like six fragrances. So I would really like to see this one come um, come back at some point in time. I don't even care if it's in like the fancy schmancy packaging. I just really enjoyed the fragrance of this one. I did make a little candle oopsie with this one on the last burn. I let it go for maybe four hours or so. The very last burn, the wicks completely migrated. Um, it pooled out and it was all liquefied and it, it kind of made the last burn really burnty, um, kind of icky. I forgot that these burn so much faster than even say a traditional Bath and Body Works three wick, but I am really happy I was able to try that one. Um, I'm kind of wanting to maybe hop on Mercari and buy one more just to have it in my collection. All right, you guys, moving right along. The other candle I really wish I would have gotten more of cereal marshmallow bar i've done a review on this one as well this was from uh, candle day this most recent candle day it was very short-lived it was out briefly online don't know if this ever made it in stores this was my only one i didn't think i'd ever burn down on all of it just because i love the scent so much it's a novelty type fragrance but again quarantine life had to burn down on some of my candles good throw really yummy scent. Um, to me, this one reminds me of almost if you took um, Fruity Pebbles and made uh, Rice Krispies out of them. Rice crispy Fruity Pebbles. That's what this smells like. Really pretty jar, really pretty label. This one burned, oddly enough, like a nice slow burn. It wasn't a super quick burner. Definitely wish I would have grabbed more of these. Hopefully Bath & Body Works does repackage that one. Um, you guys are going to see... <laughs> A lot of these are going to be kind of random because I was forced to kind of burn through some of my uh, backup candles. I forgot I even had this one. This is just a little itty bitty mini Belgian waffles from Yankee Candle. This came out last spring as well. This one, um, I don't know. I, I wasn't too, too crazy about it when it first came out. I think I was expecting something to be more along the lines of what like a Bath & Body Works Belgian waffle scent would smell like. This one really does just smell like straight up waffles with not really no fluff to it like no whipped cream no syrup nothing like that just like a crispy waffle type fragrance but i do appreciate it and i can see why people like that one um the scent is nice it's very um spot on waffle fragrance just again not that strong now i have two more minis here these were both mercari orders one of them is a velu spa this was a french toast velu spa it was my first Voluspa purchase ever and probably my last. <laughs> um, 
it was like a softer coconut wax. I think I have the packaging. Um, hand poured cocoa wax. I do have a review, full review up of this one. It just didn't throw. Um, and even on cold, it didn't smell anything like French toast. Um, again, haven't burned many of those, but don't think I would reorder. I know I wouldn't reorder that scent again. Don't know if I'll wind up trying Baloo Spa again or not. I also had, now this was a nest, nice clean burn, had just a little bit of sooting on the side. This was a vanilla orchid almond. Yes, vanilla orchid and almond. The throw out of this teeny tiny candle, I had it in a smaller space. The throw, the fragrance of this one, really, really pretty. I think I have, yes, this is the box for it. I would consider purchasing this one again, maybe in a larger size, um, only if they were on sale. These are super, super pricey candles, but I would wind up buying this one again. I liked the scent. It was just like a nice, smooth body care type scent. And to me, it also had like a little bit of maybe coconut or something to it. And again, that's the only Nest candle I've burned, but I would try Nest again. I have a couple more here. I have a full on review of this one. This was actually a pretty big ticket item last summer. I think this one came out. Yankee Candle, Magical Unicorn, pretty scent, uh, very fruity, candied fruity type scent, kind of like lemon with a bit of raspberry. I like the scent, but it just did not throw. And, and when I originally reviewed this one, you know, a year ago or so, I said the same exact thing. What I did wind up doing, and here's another one of my empties, I had this one going and I also paired it with Sugared Lemon Zest from Bath & Body Works. This again was one of my backup candles. Nice burn on this one, actually burned all the way down. The two of these together, because I think this has a little bit of lemon in it, the two of them, really, really pretty. Um, I feel like the Sugared Lemon Zest from Bath & Body Works brought out some of the lemon and raspberry in Magical Unicorn. Definitely would not get Magical Unicorn again if it came out in the single wick paraffin, but if they brought it out in like a melt cup or um, or tarts or maybe even smooth wax, I might try it, but I wouldn't get it again in the single wick. And then Sugared Lemon Zest, like I was talking about, this one comes out every year, typically in the summer. I personally burn like lemon type fragrances. Probably one of my favorite lemon scents from Bath & Body Works is Sugared Lemon Zest. I am a fan of Lemoncello, but I find that one to be a little bit lighter. I feel like Sugared Lemon Zest is a little bit stronger, a little more candied, and has a good throw. Again, didn't have any issues with the throw on this one. Nice, even wax pool. This one seemed to burn kind of quickly as well. I'm sure this one will come out again this summer if it's not out already. Um, two more candles for you. So these are two that I had high hopes for. Um, one of them was a fragrance I had already used in the past. I knew I really liked it, but I was really bummed about, really disappointed actually in the performance of it. So this is Kringle Vanilla Cone. This is just a true, genuine vanilla cone, waffly cone type fragrance. I used the wax melts in this last season and I loved the scent. So I obviously got the candle. I didn't expect the single wick candle to you know, be a powerhouse or anything like that, but I had it in a very small room and even then it just was not throwing. What I wound up doing was I put it on a hot plate and let it melt all the way through. And that seemed to help a little bit. Um, unfortunately, it still was just, it was light, you guys. This is a scent that you can't, you can't expect it to fill a full room. This is probably maybe only like a scent layering type fragrance. The scent itself is really, really beautiful. Don't know about the larger versions of this candle, but um, the smaller one just wasn't cutting it for me. Like I said, beautiful scent, but I wouldn't get it in a smaller candle again. Now, the last one I'm going to show you, this of all the Kringles that I got this season, this past month and a half or so, this one had the best throw. This is the Tonka Bean and Vanilla. It's a very much so body care type vanilla scent. And while it wasn't insanely strong, it was noticeable and you could definitely tell that there was a fragrance going, a body care type fragrance going. This one I would possibly purchase again, maybe in a larger size or the wax melts, like the coordinating wax melts to it. Um, if you are a vanilla body care type fan, definitely look into this one. 
maybe go a size up on the candle. I don't know if this is in the country candle line as well. I believe those have two wicks, if I'm not mistaken. Wouldn't go with the single wick version, but I did enjoy the scent. Might repurchase this one again, just not in the smaller version. And you guys, I think that is it on all my candles and wax for today. If you have used any of these fragrances, comment down below, let me know which ones were your favorites, or just let me know what you guys are burning right now. Before I sign off, I do want to let you guys know I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. You guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later.